by Grace Getty Call Matters a beam of light glints beneath Isaac Hageman's 2009 Prius, parked outside his Temecula home early one August morning. One person is under the hatchback, another by its side and a third is stationed nearby. After a few mechanical roars and a quick scoot out from under the car, all three hurry away. It was the second time Adjaman's catalytic converter, which scrubs a car's emissions to make them less toxic and contains precious metals, had been stolen. This time, he caught the whole thing on camera. I was upset. I was really frustrated, he said. He filed a police report, sent them the footage and called his insurance company. On top of everything, it was his birthday. Adjaman paid $500 for the repair and his insurance covered the rest. He forked over another $150 to get a protective gate installed over his converter, hoping to deter future would-be thieves, and between $6, oh 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 to $8, oh 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 on an upgraded home security system, he estimates. As of September, he still hadn't heard anything from the police, he said. Catalytic converter theft has spiked across the country in recent years, from 1, 298 reported thefts in 2018 to 52, 206 in 2021, according to claims data from the National Insurance Crime Bureau. The Bureau sampled member company claims data to identify catalytic converter theft trends, and a spokesperson wrote in a statement that the numbers don't represent all thefts. California hasn't been immune. Nationally, 37% of catalytic converter theft claims tracked by the Bureau in 2021 were in the Golden State, a disproportionate share, even accounting for California's large population. About one. 600 are stolen per month in California, for a 2021 presentation from the state's Bureau of Automotive Repair, 